Good morning, everybody. Here we are at the beginning of another week, another week of school, another week of school at home uh, for most of you. I really, really hope that you had a lovely weekend in whatever shape or form that came. Maybe you got out for a lovely walk. Maybe you played lots of games. Maybe you had a film night. Whatever you did, I really hope it was a lovely time spent together with your family. Today's assembly is all about this word here, all about heroes. And we're going to think about heroes in all different forms today. So let's have a start. I want you to think about what do heroes look like to you? So in your head right now, what does a hero look like? Hmm. Wonder what you're thinking about. Wonder what picture you've got in your head of a hero. Is it something like this? Are these? The heroes that you're thinking about. We've got all different ones here. We've got X-Men and Wolverine. We've got Captain America and the Hulk. All these are heroes. These are kind of superheroes. But I want us to think about this phrase today because the truth is not all heroes wear capes. I wonder what that means to you. What do you think this is trying to say that not all heroes wear capes? Because here we have a lots of superheroes. Admittedly, they don't all wear capes. The Hulk, he definitely doesn't wear a cape, too big to fit into one. But actually, what other heroes do we have? And I want us to think about that today, our everyday heroes who are making a real difference to people at the moment. So here is one. I wonder if you know who this is. I expect most of you do. He's actually been really, really important over the past few months. And he's been in the news a lot and on news round and on all different things, telling us his story. This is Marcus Rashford, who is now an MBE, the Queen has made him an MBE. And he has, since the beginning of the first lockdown, worked really, really hard to tackle food poverty in the UK. Because the reality is, is that not everybody, not every household can feed their children for whatever reason, cannot feed their families. So he has been working really hard to stop that because when he grew up, he was a child in that same situation where his mum didn't always have the money to feed him and her. So he is working towards stopping food poverty in the UK. And he's worked really hard with the government and lots of different charities. And I think he's also setting up a children's book club now. He has been a really brilliant role model throughout this time. And it will only continue, I imagine. Here we go, another person we saw a lot of during the first lockdown, who is back again, and that's Joe Wicks, who the Queen also made an MBE. Now, since the beginning of the first lockdown back in March, Joe Wicks, he was on YouTube every day, wasn't he, doing the videos? And I know we were doing them at home and doing them at school. He had over 80 million viewers of his daily workouts. And I know that he's starting again this week, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays, from his house again. There he is in his room with his camera. And he made sure, as a nation, we actually tried to stay as fit and healthy as we could during lockdown. And he's working on that again. And the Queen, again, recognised how important it was that he had done that for people because some people couldn't get out of their houses for their daily exercise so they still had the chance to do that at home he became a bit of a hero in lockdown as well ah captain sir tom moore he raised almost 39 million pounds for the nhs obviously he started doing those laps up and down in front of his house then he moved on he actually did released a single again and the profits for that went towards the nhs now, the Queen knighted him. So she said he's done so much brilliant work at the age of 100 that she made him a knight. So now he is Captain Sir Tom Moore. But imagine £39 million he raised for the NHS. That's £39 million they've had to help them during this time. Now, here is someone you might not know about, you might not have heard about. This lady, Felicia Kawaku, she was also made an OBE by the Queen. Now, she is a, um, a lead nurse, a sort of director of nursing within the NHS, and she worked to make conditions better for nurses and doctors and healthcare workers and porters, anybody that worked in the hospital situation who was Black, Asian or any other minority ethnicity. She identified, was one of the people to identify that actually um, vain hospital workers were really affected by COVID. And so she really has worked to make things safer for those people as they're working, doing those jobs that we need to keep people going, to keep the NHS going all this time. So the Queen also identified all the work that she did and said, you've worked really hard 
you've not just worked your daily hours as a nurse and as a nurse manager, you've also gone a step beyond. She was doing webinars for people. She was hosting question and answer sessions. She was talking to people to say, we need this help and we need that help. She really, really was making sure that as many people in hospitals could be as safe as possible. And that's why the Queen also gave her an OBE. She's another hero who is not wearing the cape. Some of you might recognise, might know this person here. You might have seen her on television. I know that she was on um, Newsround a few times and she was on a few programmes as well. This lady, Maya Rose Craig, I mean, she's only 18. So she's a young lady, in fact. But Maya Rose was really encouraging young people to get closer to nature. You can see here she's got her binoculars because she loves bird watching. And so she was really encouraging young people to get in touch with nature not just to go for a walk in the woods, but to stop and to look at the animals, to look at the birds, really appreciate all those different things. And when lockdowns were getting harder in places and people weren't able to maybe go for that walk or people um, maybe weren't able to go out because they were unwell, she was also doing things, she was doing little videos from her bedroom window and saying, look, I can just look out at my garden and look what I can see. And was encouraging people to get closer to nature, even if they couldn't be outside. So she again is another lockdown hero. Now looking locally, because we think about these people who are doing things on a national level, they start small and it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. But also we've got people in our own community who have become heroes. At the bottom here is my friend Dan Corshi, and he actually is the president of the SVP in South End. The SVP work and as you can see in the corner here from the banner, it says turning concern into action. And Dan is one of the people who has worked towards getting this shelter at Short Street. At the beginning of lockdown, him and a few others took, off, took the homeless people off the streets in South End and offered them shelter in the St. Helens Church Hall. They got blow up beds and everything and they had them in there. And that happened in March last year. So March and April, that's what they were doing. And now they've gone from that small church hall into this actual, I wouldn't say huge, but much bigger venue here at Short Street. And they're doing so much good work, not just for the homeless, but they're also helping to feed lots and lots of families in South End at the moment. So as a school, we've obviously been supporting them. We supported them at harvest time. We supported them over Christmas. And some of our own community members, just last week on the Facebook page, I shared a photo of Harriet and Spencer, two children in our St Mary's community, who chose to use their Christmas money to buy an absolutely huge bag of supplies, which they took down to the SVP shelter at Short Street last week. That is absolutely fantastic. They are heroes. They're our heroes. These people here giving up their time are heroes. They're giving up time to help and support other people. So remember, small actions are really, really big. They are so important. Heroes don't always wear capes. We have everyday heroes who are quietly, silently working in the background to make sure that things happen. And just like the SVP says in the, ban in the banner here, it's turning concern into action. Not just worrying about them or thinking about them, but actually turning that into action. What can I do? to actually help somebody. I've got these really good ideas, but now I need to act upon them. That's what our everyday heroes do. So I want you to think for a moment now, who are your heroes? Not just the superheroes like um, Iron Man, but who are your everyday heroes? And why are they your hero? Right now, your heroes are probably the people looking after you every day at home because they are heroes. They are taking on the job of being your teacher every day when that is not their job. Some of your parents are doing their normal everyday job as well as taking on the responsibility of helping you with your schoolwork. That makes them a hero because they're not just doing one job, they're also supporting you. Maybe your heroes are your parents or grandparents or aunties and cousins and brothers and sisters who work in the hospitals. Maybe they work in schools. Maybe they work in care homes. Maybe they deliver the food to the supermarkets because they are still heroes as well. 
all those people doing those jobs to make sure that our everyday lives can somewhat uh, be normal. Those are our heroes. And I want you to really think about why they are your hero. And also, what can you do, like I said last week, to say thank you to those heroes? So we're gonna have a look at our candle. Take some time now to think, to have a moment to yourself, to really say thank you for all those heroes who don't wear capes, who are doing all these brilliant jobs right now to keep us safe, to keep us healthy, to keep us motivated. God, our Father, thank you for those who work in hospitals, care homes, surgeries and pharmacies, for those who grow, produce, transport and supply our food, for those who clean, cook, clear up and keep us healthy, for those who speak, preach, call, write, blog, vlog, sing and pray into our isolation, for those who calm, cradle, carry, comfort and care. For those who seek, research, explore and assess treatments and cures. For those who give, bless, serve, love and tend to the vulnerable and the needy. For all who in this season reflect you, even as they mirror you, would you bless and protect and provide for them. For they are all heroes. Amen. So remember, our heroes are all different. They don't all wear capes, but they are all so, so important to us. So the song I'm going to end with today is actually, you might recognise it. Some of you might be watching um, We Can Be Heroes on Netflix. But this is an old David Bowie song which has been brought back to life again. And it's to really make us think that each and every one of us can be heroes. We just have to think about how we can do that. And you, you will be queen And nothing, no, nothing could tear us apart Oh, we can be heroes Just for one day We can be So there we go. We can be heroes. Each and every one of us can be heroes. Sometimes remember it's the small things that really make a difference. So for all those heroes that you're living with, all those heroes that you know, make sure you do take time to say thank you. And sometimes it's those really, really small things that count. But I do want you to really have a moment today to think about who your heroes are. Who are those people that have kept you going? Are there people online who you've um, been motivated and inspired by. I know that Rob Bidolph has been doing all those amazing YouTube videos uh, with his artistry skills and lots of you joined in with those the first time. Find things that are going to inspire and motivate you during this time. Who are those heroes? Who can you find out more about? And think about those everyday heroes who don't wear those capes, who we are so, so grateful for. 
have a lovely week. I have been so impressed by all the messages you've been sending your teachers. I have jumped in a few Zoom calls last week. It was so lovely to see you. So excited to see your teachers and your school friends during this time. So keep working hard. Remember, read every day. It doesn't have to be on Bug Club. It can be whatever you want. Practice your times tables. Do those things that you enjoy as well as all the schoolwork because we have to make sure we take time for ourselves in everything as well. Have a lovely week and I will see you next week. Bye bye.